artists are accepting, tolerant, and open-minded. Just mention the name Sarah Palin, and prepare to experience leftist love in all its glory. And now your fearless host, Brock Lawley. Hello, hello, hello. My name is Brock Lawley. I am your host. We you stand out on YouTube, Facebook, Tumblr, Twitter, all over the interwebs. Feel free to explore. I encourage it. All right. Today, I feel very compelled to make this podcast, and it's going to be a clarifying podcast. And it's because I think because I'm so pointed of tongue, and because I'm so opinionated, obviously, and because I rail against leftism. I'll say that again: leftism. The people get very, very confused. They feel like I'm attacking individuals, or they feel like I hate uh, people individually, or even that I'm saying that individual liberals are evil, which I'm not saying. I'm not saying, nor do I believe. That's not what I believe. I'm attacking the worldview, the ideology that is poisonous, that is destructive. I'm attacking the macro, you know, let's just call it an idea realm. That is leftism. But individual liberals, good-hearted people can be seduced by bad ideas. That has been the case throughout history. Uh, I, I know that. There are good conservatives. There are bad conservatives. There are good liberals. There are bad liberals. The point is, is that this ideology, it produces, the fruit it produces is evil. The, pr- the fruit it produces intellectually, the ideas that then legislate themselves into governance over free men and women are evil. That is specifically what I'm attacking. Much the same way with atheism and atheists. I'm not attacking individual atheism. See, the problem with our society is we've become so shallow of thinking that we can't separate the micro and the macro. That's why people run around offended all the time with pennies in a bunch. Because they don't have that ability. They're just leading with their emotions. And there was a time in history when people could intellectually discuss things and everybody didn't run home to their mom clutching their glove and their ball and their bat, you know, crocodile tear style, claiming that uh, somebody offended them. Nobody offended them. If you, if, you, if you discuss the evils and the failures of, of statism, communism, socialism, you're not attacking individual socialists. You're attacking that worldview. You're attacking that mindset. You're attacking, more specifically, that way of economic governance. It's very, 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 very important to clarify this. And it's sort of sad. There's a lingering sadness into me even as I have to explain this, because it just goes to show you how far we've fallen as a society by way of our public discourse and our ability to debate and and interact with each other intellectually. But that's very, very important. There's a big difference. And we all must individually separate the macro and the micro from our lives. Because you put a human being in front of somebody, you put an individual person, that that person is multifaceted, that person is multidimensional. You can't sum that whole person up based upon... Uh, they're either good ideas about politics or the bad ideas. But that doesn't mean that you don't attack bad ideas, bad intellectual ideas. You definitely do that. And you do that with fervor and zeal. But see, people don't make that distinction. They can't make that distinction. So when they hear a guy like me railing, unapologetically railing against leftism, they immediately think somehow I'm attacking them if they share those views and those opinions. I'm not. I am most definitely saying you are wrong. You are your worldview and your perspective and the ideas of which uh, that you project upon the world in these regards. They're wrong. Pure black and white contrast. They are wrong. History says they're wrong. Facts say they're wrong. Reality says they're wrong. But you're, that doesn't mean you're a bad person. It doesn't mean you're a bad parent, a bad citizen. It doesn't mean any of those things. And here's another dimension to why this is a confusing thing. Because you see, conservatives like myself, we make that distinction. I don't immediately think that a liberal is an evil person. But see, liberalism, leftism, by and large, does do that. And see, this is the nature of projection. So in other words, if you're like the type of person that's uh, always talking behind somebody's back, if you'll notice in life, those people are very, very, very suspicious. They think everybody is, is, is a gossip, talks behind everybody's back. But of course, that's not true. They're projecting their own failures upon everybody else. Well, this is the same of leftism. We don't think that, I personally don't think that individual liberals are evil, but, but leftism, it's predicated on that fact. In fact, you know, they, that's why you don't hear them discuss our ideas. 
You don't hear them discuss our economic ideas. You don't hear them discuss our worldview. You don't hear them address any of these things. They create these straw men and they attack those. But that's not even the, the worst of it. They, the whole worldview is predicated upon the fact that conservatives themselves, like me, are evil. And the only way that we would be conservatives is if, our, is, is if we are evil people. Not evil ideas, not bad ideas, evil people. And if you, if you doubt me, ask them, they'll tell you that. It's always attack the messenger, not the message with the left. But with conservatism, it's the opposite of that. We're going after ideas. We're discussing in the currency of ideas. There's a big dis- difference there. And that's why I think, that's why everybody's always like, hate, 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 hate. No, if you're attacking an individual person, especially for reasons that are not merited, but even if they are merited, there's a certain degree of, of lack of couth and, and, un, and, and not kindness and that, etc. But ideas, no, the same rules don't apply. That clarification is, is absolutely necessary. And once again, when these things are exposed, that's the kink in, in the armor of liberalism. You see, modern leftism can only exist in a vacuum. Once you, once you illuminate what they're doing, once you expose what they're doing, liberalism, it, it will just implode on the weight of itself. So, you know, that's why it always has to be so insular. That's why college classrooms can't allow conservative worldviews. Because when you kink that armor, it's done. It has to be intellectually inbred. That's the only way it exists. Because it doesn't operate with ideas. It has to get the, 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 the Pied Piper followers to believe the people like me are evil. We're just evil people. We don't have, uh, we, we shouldn't even be listened to. Those ideas, they, they, they're spouting off. Don't listen to any of those ideas. Because they're evil people. Why would you listen to uh, ideas from evil people? Because I know for a fact if, left, if leftists have to compete in the arena of ideas, they always fail because the worldview is built on emotion and it's bankrupt intellectually. So this clarification is very, very important. I hope it was helpful. Thank you for listening to the Atheist Antidote Show. You are listening to the Atheist Antidote Show. It's a direct and deliberate smear against Christianity.